You're tuned in to the world of Tom, where you catch all the facts and stay connected to Tom Lake. Program. I know um, a lot of times. Look at you, you look all cute. Okay. Uh, oh, some people are, you know, having a hard time. God is still blessed. Right, right. And we seeing it. We are definitely seeing it. Um, getting back to divine pieces. Are will your services be offered to the community, none churches, or is it just designated for churches? Oh, absolutely. Um, Divine Pieces Consulting um, is for businesses, whether it's uh, um, it doesn't have to be ministries. It doesn't have to be a church. You can, I, I actually um, have clients that are outside of the church um, that are uh, businesses, you know, large businesses um, that I, I do work for. Um, I also do um, personal uh, coaching for those that want to start businesses or just need, you know, motivation and just because you know, God has blessed me, like I said, to be able to take pieces and bring them together. You know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of times people be like, man, I have this great idea, but really they don't know where to start. They don't know where to begin or they, you know, so or they may have something, but they really just cannot put the structure, the structure together to make yeah. it all work. So that's just something that I like to do is, you know, if you have something in it's yellow i may say well what if you tweak it a little bit and maybe add this to it you know seeing things in a way where they don't always see it but it's going to help them in the long run so yep. definitely open to other businesses and um like i actually you know did work for uh, a grammy nominated gospel artist you know i'm doing stuff for all types of people so it doesn't you know if you have personal ventures if it's a business it's a business and i'm trust i, I can probably help do something <laughs> I heard that. So y'all who are listening and tuning in, please reach out if you have any questions or you just feel lost, you know, all you can do is ask. Um, do you have any plans for like a community outreach? Well, <laughs> well, with the pandemic and everything going on right now, um, there is some things that I, I do want to do. Um, I've been thinking about doing a uh, a call, probably it'll probably be a virtual call until we can, you know, things change up a little bit where I'll let people kind of get on and ask questions because I, I really want to help people, like I said, that that maybe are starting a business or just have questions. So I'm thinking about doing something along those lines because as the black culture, and I'm going to say this. Um, it's it's kind of it's kind of interesting, and this is something that has really been on my heart, and I've been wondering about this for some time now. That when it comes to the other cultures, us African Americans are pretty much the number one consumers, right? Mm -hmm. And I never I never understand why it's so hard for the African American culture, our businesses. Why is it that it seems like we can only attract our own? but not attract everybody. Right. And, and to me, I, I, that was something that, you know, kind of bothered me. Cause I'm like, I, I want to see more black businesses successful in them areas where you have the Gucci's and the, you know, the coaches and the Tommy Hill figures and the Louis Vuitton's all of the, you know what I'm saying? We're the con biggest consumers a lot of times of these people, but it's like, it's harder for the black businesses to really get there to where we're getting um, sales and, and, and we're, we're getting consumers coming from different cultures, mm -hmm. you know, and then I tell people all the time that that's why it's important that when you build your business, build it for everybody. If that makes sense, like yeah. it might, it might sound crazy, but a lot of times we build businesses for us. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we, we, I feel like we treat each other, we treat each other not so well all the time. It's almost mm -hmm. like we kind of have a crab in a bucket mentality. We don't like to support each other. So that's why I feel like when you have a business, try to set yourself up to where, you know what I'm saying, that you're going to attract everybody. Don't just go for one group of people. And yeah. I know we're in a place now where we're like, you know, we have Black Lives Matter, mm -hmm. but you want, you want the finances and you want the income and the revenue flow from everybody, not right. just your own because that's not not how other cultures think right. <laughs> they right. think well, i'm building a business and i won't you know that it's like they already kind of target us mm -hmm. you know, think about the beauty the, the, the uh hair um uh, the uh hair stores and all that stuff yeah. those were really built for who 
us. But most of us aren't running them. Ain't that yeah. and, and I never looked at it like that. We are yeah. trying yeah. to keep it open. And then when we do open it, it's like it's we support each other. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It's not supported. Absolutely. They end up closing down. They end up shutting down. They can't re oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And that's why I'm like, uh, as a culture, I just think we need to open our minds up a little bit when we, we get into business, when mm-hmm. we do the way we do things, um, you know, our, our professionalism. I'm really big on that. Uh, when you get a business, I think that you should maybe take some business classes or like I said, that's why you need to have a business mentor or somebody that can help you because yeah. if we're going to reach different people and we want to think outside the box and we want to be bigger. Like I said, and, and it doesn't matter if you like, man, I just want this small business. Don't go into your, don't go into a business saying, I just want this small business. Right. No, you should go in there. Yes. The Bible says don't despise small beginning, but you should go in with a big mindset. Like, you mm-hmm. know, because I think that's where we, we, we stop ourselves and we cap ourselves when it comes to business. But hey it's your boy Nico the Great, host of Ethnic It's Your More podcast. And I'm a proud supporter and sponsor of In the World of Time. Make sure you follow me at Nico the Great 357, as well as Ethnic It's Your More on all social media platforms. Every Thursday with Tom.